Lord God, to the world and not just keep it to ourselves. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's prepare our hearts, brothers and sisters, for the message. Let's get our Bible. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Pastor Isaiah Songkwan. Praise God. Good evening to everybody, uh, everyone, and uh, welcome to All for Jesus Church. Those who are with, watching uh, live coverage uh, tonight, and also those who are watching in YouTube, and also in Messenger. We thank you for your presence, uh, for God is good, Amen. all the time. Amen. Now today, let's... Uh, Let's discuss about the crucifixion of Jesus. Amen. The crucifixion of Jesus, this is uh, once a year that we remember uh, Jesus was crucified to the cross. Amen? But in some ways, I'd rather remember Jesus every day as he, as he was crucified to the cross because we are victorious. When he, when he was crucified on the, on the cross, we are victorious. Amen. Now, what is the meaning of cruci uh, crucifixion? How, why Jesus was crucified to the cross? The answer we gotta we gotta find out in the Bible. Amen. Why Jesus was crucified on the cross? The crucifixion. Jesus was crucified. It symbolizes God's love as important to salvation. Amen. In John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have an everlasting life. For us, as His victory over death, Amen, the intensity of desire for a sympathetic, merciful God who knew ultimately human pain. Now the cross is the principal symbol of the Christian religion. Until now, they usually put on their on their neck as a as a bracelet or necklace or something like a a, a pin. You can see that. Uh, in everyday uh, everyday life recalling or remembering the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and the redeeming benefits of his intense feeling and death the crucifixion emphasizes that Jesus sacrificed his death to redeem us amen. from our sins amen, amen. because in Romans 3:10 it says there no one is righteous not even one. Amen. Why the Bible said this? Just because we cannot even keep one single commandment of God. Amen. You can, we cannot keep any one or any single commandments from God. Yes. That's why in Romans 3.10, no one is righteous. Not even one. It says there. Yes. This is the ultimate solution. That God the Father will uh, will sacrifice His Son Jesus Christ. This is the ultimate solution of God to sacrifice His one and only begotten Son, Jesus, to pay all our debt. The physical death of Jesus on the cross is the central message, or the central idea. It's the central key from when all the all the true believers is based on amen if you are true believers you are you believe in Jesus Christ this is the price Jesus has paid for your sins and my sins amen, amen. without Jesus physical death on the cross there is no forgiveness of sin yes. 
and there is no eternal salvation for any of us. Amen? And there is no heaven or any meaningful after we die. After we die, where are you going? If, the, if Jesus Christ was not crucified, crucified in the cross, where are we going after we die? Our souls. Yes. There would be there would be only one left. What is that? The hell. Amen. Only hell left. And there's no heaven where we're supposed to go. Amen. Once we die. If there's no heaven where we're supposed to go. If we die. We are very, very miserable. Amen. Yeah. God the Father had done with, the, with his extreme move. Bringing the full details of exactly what his son Jesus went through during his entire horrific ordeal. This, uh, this, uh, this uh, crucifixion of Jesus is very horrifying or very horrible ordeal. Once you realize exactly what Jesus went through, the mental images will be forever will be the your mental images will be forever it's what is it it's embroidered amen into your hearts and into your mind and you will never ever forget the price what is the price the payment that god and jesus paid to save our soul from eternal damnation God the Father had willfully allowed His one and only begotten Son to come down on His earth, to come down on this earth in the flesh like us, only to go through such a bloody, horrible, and barbaric death. This is really beyond anything that any human words can attempt. To try and describe. Amen. In the Philippines, they tried and tried. They crucified themselves. But there's no nail. Sometimes there's a nail, but it's a, a little nail. Amen. And but the nail that I'm talking about, that the purse on the on the hands of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, it's too big. Amen. <laughs> and for non-believers. And the lukewarm, the lukewarm, this is the not hot or not cold Christians. Those are the lukewarm Christians. Should bring them much closer to God. Amen? Yes. If you realize how Jesus suffered on the cross, you should bring them much closer to God because Jesus made a, a serious sacrifice for your sins and my sins. And the Holy Spirit, they, this may cause them to get back or to go back to the word of truth. Where is the word of truth? The Bible. And to get the rest of the story as to what Jesus done for all of us. If you read your Bible, you could see the story why Jesus was crucified on the cross. All of Jesus' teaching were awesome and profound. But none of his teaching would have saved any of us by themselves, the words themselves. But it was Jesus' physical death on the cross. Amen. That gave us eternal salvation with God the Father. In Ephesians 2.8, if you look at your Bible in Ephesians 2.8, for by grace you have been saved it says there through faith and not of your not of yourselves yes. it is the gift of God yeah. not of works no lest anyone so that no one can boast yes. amen yeah. and in Galatians 2 16 knowing a God knowing that a man is not is not Knowing a man is not justified by the works of the law. But faith in Jesus, for by the works of the law, 
no flesh, no flesh or no humans shall be just justified. And in Romans 3, 20, for all have sinned and fall short to the glory of God. Amen. All have sinned and fall short to the glory of God. So therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh, no flesh or human beings will be justified in his sight for the law is the knowledge of sins. Yes. These three verses alone that I give to you, Ephesians 2, 8, Galatians 2, 16, and Romans 3, 20, these three verses alone will clearly tell tells us that no man can enter into the kingdom of heaven by any good works. Yes. Amen. Amen. That he may try. That he may try. Maybe somebody is attempting to try your good works. No. Don't do it. That he may try or attempting to try and do. No, no matter how good and holy those works may be. It doesn't guarantee your salvation, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. In Romans 5, 8, But God demonstrates He shows His love towards us. Yes. In that while we are still sinners, until now we are still sinners, there's nothing perfect. Amen. Amen. Until now we are still sinners. I am a sinner. You are a sinner. Everybody is a sinner. Amen. Until now, Christ that died for us, much more, much more than having now been justified by His blood. If you are justified by His blood, you are been, you have been saved. Amen? Amen. You are saved. We shall be saved from from wrath. What is the wrath? Extreme anger of God through His Son. Amen. Yes. Now. Put all the four of these verses that I give to you all together. Put all them together. And the message come through loud and clear. We are not saved by any works. Yes. Amen. Amen. Holy works or non-holy works. But only through the physical blood that Jesus shed on the day shed on the day of the, on the cross. Amen. Because if there's no shedding of blood of Jesus, there is no forgiveness of sin. Amen. Amen. So we either came through the blood of Jesus and the cross or we don't come through at all. Remember, I, remember in Isaiah 53 verse 5, read that. But he was pierced. What is a pierce? He was punctured. Amen. A big hole. Not only a hole like this, no. It's a big hole. Amen. It's what, it was punctured big for our transgression. What is a transgression? It's against the role and law of God. Amen. Amen. He was close. He was crushed for our iniquities. What is iniquities? Our immoral behavior. Amen. Amen. The punishment was brought us Peace was upon him. Amen. Only Jesus holds the peace. Yes. This is how Jesus brutally died. It describes here how Jesus brutally died. Amen. He had the he had to speci specifically die by being crucified with nails. You know what I'm talking about? Nails. Maybe uh, it's much bigger than the size. Maybe it's much bigger than the size of your middle finger. That's the nail that was get inside the hands of Jesus. Amen. Being crucified by big nails was the worst form of physical death. This is torture. And this was the worst form of capital punishment. Amen. Amen. That anyone could undergo. But Jesus came down to earth in human flesh and did not commit any single sin. Amen. Amen. While living here on earth, 
he was sinless so therefore he is perfect an ultimate sacrifice for all of us amen for all of us this is the true love that God has given to us beyond anything we can ever imagine in Leviticus 17 verse 11 for the life of the flesh the life of the flesh our life the, the, the life of our flesh is in the blood it's in the blood of Jesus amen without the blood of Jesus nothing your your sins is still in you amen, amen. for it is the blood that makes atonement what is atonement reparation amen for the souls this is the meaning why Jesus was crucified on the cross by enduring the most agonizing faith you cannot deal, how can you describe agonizing faith imaginable he was conquered death itself amen the sin of mankind would require a sacrifice it is necessary yes. amen. amen it is required a sacrifice it is necessary amen. amen the sinless life of Jesus was lived and given so that you and me could receive salvation and eternal life in heaven amen, amen. to God be the glory let's uh, let us pray father in heaven in the name of Jesus thank you father for your son Jesus Christ amen. who redeem us from our sins yes, Lord. who give us peace Lord amen. we thank you father yes, for your great mercy towards amen. us that you have given your son Jesus Christ yes, for us you, to save us from eternal damnation amen. we thank you father for this night yes, we thank you for all who watch this uh, this uh, fellowship lord yes, bless each and every one of them lord yes, heal them lord if they are if they are sick if they are yes, they have something something uh, something bothering them lord yes, in the name of jesus in the name of your son jesus christ thank you lord and bless each every family lord that is uh, watching you right now and uh, we thank you father for the for all the uh, workers the medical workers yes, lord. who are in front of this ongoing virus lord we know lord that this virus you are much bigger than this virus yes lord. you are much bigger than this virus lord. Yes, lord. you are much stronger than this virus yes, lord. remove this virus now lord jesus in jesus name all over the world lord yes, in the philippines lord. in united jesus states name. all over the world lord, yes, lord. we thank you father and you are the God of miracles. Yes, Lord. You can, there's no impossible for you to do, Lord. Amen. Amen. There is nothing hard for you to yes, do, Lord. Lord. Everything is possible and everything is easy for you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father. Yes, and bless these medical workers, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give them strength Amen. that comes from you. Yes, Lord. God. Give them wisdom yes, that comes from you. Yes, Lord. And also the knowledge and power that comes from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Cover them, Lord, with your most precious blood. Yes, Lord. Including this, who are watching this now, right now, Lord. Amen. Cover them with your most precious yes, blood. Lord. Bless Don't Lord. let them suffer any hardship in their lives. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless each and every one of yes, us, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now we go to our... Uh, Holy Communion and uh, I would like again to announce that uh, if you still have no churches in your place you can uh, you can have bread like this and you can have uh, a juice that symbolizes the blood of Jesus that was poured on the cross of Calvary amen, amen. and uh, as we go on let's open our Bible in um, 1st Corinthians chapter 11 verse 24 1st Corinthians chapter 11 verse 24 
But first, before we go there, brothers and sisters, take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 28. It says here, A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and Amen. drinks of the cup. Amen. Amen. This is a very important uh, matter, yes. brothers and sisters. For anyone who eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord, eats and drinks judgment on, on himself. Amen. This is a very uh, serious uh, uh, words in the Bible. So, before you take the uh, partake the bread and also the, uh, the juice that uh, symbolizes the blood of Jesus, you have to really examine yourself brothers and sisters. Now, let's go to 24, verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake the bread. And in the same way, in verse 25, in the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's read the, uh, the juice as, as, the, uh, as symbolizes as the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are now victorious, Lord. We are victorious. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord.